This lion is from the Southeast Asia galleries. And in our story, the lion is the chief of the village. This is a folk tale from Bali. It was the middle of the night and lion was sound asleep. When suddenly he heard, Gekko, Gekko, Gekko. Gekko, what are you doing here on this rock by my head? It is the middle of the night. Go home and go to bed. But I can't sleep. Outside, the fireflies are blinking their lights on and off, on and off. You're the village boss. Do something about it. I will talk to fireflies in the morning. In the morning, Lion called fireflies to him. Fireflies, is it true that all night long you blink your lights on and off, on and off, so Gecko can't sleep? Oh yes, it is true. We blink our lights on and off, on and off, because you see, buffalo leaves poop all over the road and we have to light the way so no one steps in the mess. Very thoughtful of you, fireflies. You may go. It was the middle of the night and Lion was sound asleep when suddenly he heard Gekko, Gekko, Gekko. Gekko, you again go home and go to bed. But I can't sleep. The fireflies are blinking their lights on and off, on and off. You said you talked to fireflies. I did talk to fireflies. They need to blink their lights because buffalo leaves poop all over the road and they're afraid someone will step in the mess. You will just have to put up with fireflies. Well, talk to buffalo then. You're the village boss. Do something about it. The next day, Lion called Buffalo to him. Buffalo, is it true that you leave poop all over the road so fireflies need to light the way so no one steps in the mess? Well, yes, it is true. You see, every afternoon, rain washes holes in the road, and I fill them the only way I know how. Otherwise, some might, might get hurt by falling in the holes. Very thoughtful of you, Buffalo. You may go. It was the middle of the night, and Lion was sound asleep when suddenly he heard Gekko, Gekko, Gekko. Gekko, it is the middle of the night. Go home and go to bed. I still can't sleep. Outside those fireflies are blinking their lights on and off, on and off. You said you would talk to Buffalo. I did speak to Buffalo. Rain washes holes in the road every afternoon and Buffalo fills them the best way he knows how. You will just have to put up with the fireflies. Well, talk to Rain then. You're the village boss. Do something about it. The next day, Lion called Rain to him. Rain, is it true that you wash holes in the road every afternoon that Buffalo must fill with his poop and fireflies must light the road so no one steps in the mess? Oh yes, it is true. I rain as hard as I can every afternoon to make big mud puddles so mosquitoes have a place to live. If I don't rain hard and create mud puddles, well, mosquitoes will die and then Gecko will have nothing to eat. I see, you may go. It was the middle of the night and Lion was sound asleep when suddenly he heard Gekko, Gekko, Gekko. You again, Gekko, go home and go to bed. But I still can't sleep. Those fireflies are blinking their lights 
on and off, on and off. You said you talked to Rain. Listen carefully, Gecko. Rain washes holes in the road to create mud puddles. Mud puddles is where mosquitoes live. If rain stops raining, there will be no mosquitoes. And then you, Gecko, will have nothing to eat. Now, what do you think of that? Gecko was shocked. You mean, if Lion tells rain to stop raining, Buffalo can stop filling the holes, and Fireflies can stop blinking their lights on and off, on and off, but then I, Gecko, will have nothing to eat? Precisely. Gecko, in this world, all things are connected. Now go home and go to bed. Gecko went home. Gecko closed his eyes and went to sleep. Outside, the fireflies were blinking their lights on and off, on and off. In this world, there are some things that you just have to put up with.